148, Sefer Chafetz Chaim. Condition number seven. May one relate Rechilus for a constructive purpose, Lita Ellis, if the listener would respond by causing the subject undue harm. Meaning, if the listener now, who you're telling it to, is going to go back to the guy who caused, you know, um, who he who's, was spoken about, and he's going to really like to schmet the guy. He's going to go beat him up. Can you tell the guy then? So the final condition necessary to permit speaking rechilus for to else a constructive purpose is that conveying the information does not cause undue harm to the subject. Constructive intent does not mean causing harm to another person. It does not justify it. Therefore, one cannot inform a person that someone else is about to harm him if the person will respond by harming the plotter. He's just there to protect himself. He's not going to go back and go punch the guy's lights out, right? This applies not only to physical or financial getting revenge or retaliation, but even to retaliation, getting back, in the form of Lash and Hara in a manner prohibited by law. Meaning you'll have guys that, you know, they hear about it and they just go off and they have very little control and they're going to get the guy back big time. The guy who plotted to get against them, and they turned around. You now you just created a bigger fight. He's not protecting himself. He's going to go back and get big time revenge, or he's just going to. Who knows what he's going to do to the guy? Then it's not. That is not mother. It's just simply for the guy to protect himself.